Yo, AI, you got a minute? Oh, uh, yeah, coach. Come talk just to about me. about to head out for warm-ups. Look, I just wanted to say the coaching staff really appreciates what you've been doing for the team lately. Oh, thanks. It's always nice to hear. Absolutely. So with that in mind, the coach is looking to expand your role. All right, we want you to be one of the first guys off the bench. Oh, you mean like, like the sixth man? Sure. Something like that. Just know that you're an important part of the team, all right? All right. Thanks, coach. Absolutely. What's up, everyone? Ace McGavridge here. Hope you're having an awesome day. We're playing NBA 2K19 career mode. Up first is uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. So we'll go ahead and get a couple warm-up shots here, and then we'll start the game. So in the intro, we got more minutes. We're essentially the sixth man now. So we should be getting a lot more play time. Subbed in, five minutes to go in the first. We're up by six at the free throw line. There's always this weird delay in the game sometimes at free throws. See if we can get our first play of the game. Get a nice successful play here. Like the, the low post move, turnaround jumper. That's good. A uh, few plays later, set a screen. Now we're going to get down low since they cleared it out for us. Dribbled him all the way in. Nice and easy shot. Gained some fans out of that. We lead the NBA in field goal percentage, which is great. Still in the first, up by four. Just nice and easy. We're shooting 100%. We got eight points so far, so we're four for four in the paint. Great start to the first quarter. A little bit of defense, box out, get the rebound. Call for the ball on the other side. Got a couple defenders, no problem. Still shooting 100%, 12 points. Now we're into the second, we're up by seven. Call for the ball. A Little bit outside from where we like to be, but still a good turnaround jumper. Uh, we missed at some point, so we are now six for seven. And then we let our defenders slip, but luckily we react fast enough to get a block. All right, we're on defense here. Getting ready to help out. Our guy goes up for the screen. We got to play the pick and roll. Play a little wide, but it shuts down the lane. And we blocked the shot. And then they got a shot clock violation. So that was great defense. We're up by 9, 46, 55. Uh, winding down into halftime here, 40 seconds to go. We've got 14 points, two rebounds, two blocks. Off of the ball. We see the cutter. Easy assist right there. When I start drawing the double teams, I try to look for who to pass to. So that's working out pretty well. At the half. We got minus six somehow, even though we've got 14 points, three rebounds, one assist, and two blocks. Uh, but somehow we're minus six, so. Uh, we, we do match up against Pau Gasol, or not Pau, Mark Gasol a lot, and he's a really strong uh, center there, so. Uh, nice, easy, fast break there. Jump in and get the layup. So that's probably why my rating is low, is because Mark Gasol's still getting a ton of points. Here you can see him get, get us down low. Pretty good D, but he just makes it. It's hard to stop, stop that guy. He's got 15 points on in 23 minutes. But we got the slip on him and an easy layup. So I try to stay active. All right, let's see if we can defend against Mark here. Gets it at the top. Oh, we get a steal. Almost. We poked it free. Now he goes for the pick and roll. Get 
ready to guard the guard, and then he gets the slip, and we aren't able to stop it. So we should have backed off the guard and gone back for Mark faster, but I was trying to be helpful in the pick and roll. So here we left our guy. Come back. This is just a funny spot where the AI is just weird. Uh, he ends up getting an offensive three seconds. Even though he had me beat, I fell for the pump fake. But for some reason, he just keeps dribbling around. Set a screen for Booker. He doesn't use it, so we call down low. There's the pass to Tyson Chandler. He gives it back. Back it down again. Turn around jumper with two people on us. No problem. 20 points. Start of the fourth quarter, we're up by three, 77 to 80. Set the screen for Booker. And then we just get the slip and run it all the way in for a dunk. Nobody came to help out. Kind of this weird delayed reaction from the, the defensive AI there. We got subbed out, we're subbed back in. Five minutes and 42 seconds left. We're up by six, 83, 89. TJ Warren gives it to us on the block. We see the cutter. Isaiah Kanan wide open down low. Give us another assist. All right, we're trying to get down low again. Ryan Anderson gets a bullet pass over. Uh, is that Marcus All? Yeah. So we get the good dunk there. But still in the, the fourth quarter here. Another assist. Pretty good uh, cut from TJ Warren to get open, and we're up by 10. Another play later. Trying to set up a screen, but Kanan doesn't do anything, so we bail on it. We go down, get our spot. We see that the guy's open, but then he runs away. So we just do the turnaround jumper. Takeover meter's ready. We enable it, but then we have some bad plays, so now we're a couple plays later. Mark Gasol's also on fire, so it's been really tough for me with him. We get another turnaround jumper. 28 points, shooting 73%. We will get player of the game, guys. Show my the sweet turnaround. Here's a defensive rebound. We decide to dribble it for a minute, pass it up. And we're wide open. We go for it. We dunk it on him. Beautiful. 30 points. Pretty good for the six man. And we're up right now by nine. So here's poor defense. Luckily, Mark misses it. Uh, down low again against Mark Gasol. We're going to try to get around on him. There we go. Ask for the ball. Nobody passes it. We're wide open. Fun little layup there. So we're up by nine, guys, 105.96. Under a minute to go in the fourth. Call for the ball, down on Mark. A long wide, or long turnaround jumper. Uh, we had a good shot, though, so we made it, which is nice. That's the end of it. We led the game in blocks, which is cool. We win by nine points, 107.98. Player of the game, all around great game for us, even though Mark Gasol is a very tough guy to play against. anyone else saying that there was some goaltending happening in the second half that they didn't call? Because, I don't know, I'm just saying, like, it's debatable. AI, you're in high demand, my What's friend. Up, Charlie? Check and Kenny want to chat? All right, Charlie. Good luck. Let's do it. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to catch up with our special post-game guest. Hey, this is Shaq. Hurrah! You've been beasting these last few games, and it's fun to watch. Anything you feel you've done differently to make this impact? Anything differently? Uh, you know, the one difference I can identify, uh, I'm trying to be more aggressive with my touches. When I don't settle to play passive, I know it benefits the whole team. Uh, creates opportunities for others, you know, to make plays. 
And we know that we have to be aggressive as a group in order to accomplish things that we want this season. And uh, we've just been trying to set the tone with my play. AI, huh? The A must stand for animal. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Great. And that's going to do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Pretty fun post-game interview that they do in this career mode. It's fun to have uh, Shaq and Kenny and, and EJ in there. Make it pretty fun. So we get back to the locker room, pull up to navigation here. And we see that we have an endorsement. Uh, Gatorade pitch meeting, so let's check that out. Yo, you good? All right, which one of you is a player? He is. Uh, good, good, good. Then who are you? I'm the Kyle. I'm his the manager. Kyle. Interesting. Two names. I like that. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Uh, Dr. Jacob Rubin, head physiologist. I know you were probably expecting some slick marketing exec who actually knows the game and tells you you're going to be like Mike, but I come first. So, I'm told you went undrafted. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I was supposed to go after college. But yeah, NBA teams, they draft players uh, based on potential, which means they obviously didn't see enough in you. Well, didn't see enough? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Look, some players, it's simple. Some players, some athletes are simply blessed with impeccable plumbing. LeBron, Giannis, Westbrook. I mean, even this guy, right? Sure, he reeks of Happy Meals, but I'm guessing what? 3% body fat, right? Good eye, Doc. Yeah, you wish, bro. Here's the thing. You aren't the Kyle. In fact, you aren't any of the guys that I just mentioned, and you never will be, and that is simple genetics, which is why every step, every breath, every rep has to be accounted for. And that's where I come in. Look, compared to the average man, every player in the NBA is an exceptional athlete. What I offer, what Gatorade offers, is the opportunity for you to maximize your potential, unlock those attributes that can't be quantified by a scout's stopwatch. Look, we're talking about the difference between Steve Nash's career and Denver Levin's. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Ah, that's all I got time for, kid. Look, I may not be a fan, but if you're here, that means some very smart people think you've got the ingredients. I mean, hey, facts is facts. Be all right. Man, you better check your boy, bro. Nah, I know, man. I know, I know. It's all right. Pretty interesting uh, cutscene there. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. My name's Ace McAverage. I'll see you all in the next episode. You guys stay awesome.